All right, what's poppin', y'all? Welcome back to another Request the Reaction video. So we are about to get into this Living with MJ parody. So without further ado, guys, we're just gonna hop straight into this video, so let's go. Hey, guys, so many of you guys have been requesting a Martin Bashir oh, rant, but I feel like this is so much better than a rant. <laughs> this was inspired completely by Jackson Passion. Follow her on YouTube. I seriously okay. wanna collab with her one day. Her freaking YouTube poop videos kill me. I'm gonna ask you this. Are you a virgin? <laughs> She is great. She deserves way more subscribers. Oh, so subscribe to her and check out her original parody of Living with Michael Jackson. It's probably ten times funnier than I'm mine, but I try. But hope you guys enjoy this. this and bye. At least not that I. I don't think so. I'm, I'm Martin Bashir, and I'm going to take you on a journey called Living with Michael Jackson. That's right. I'm going to be living with the Michael Jackson. But rather than respecting him and treating him like an actual human being, I'm going to be degrading him throughout this entire documentary to make me feel better about my own shitty life. No, seriously, everything I'm about to say in this documentary is fucking rude and offensive. But if you're into that, then keep on watching. Get ready to see me look like a blithering idiot and a compulsive liar. What can I say? They don't call me bullshit for nothing. <laughs> I watched that so uh, interview like three times Michael, already. I love all of these amusement rides. Thank you, thank you. But don't you think I watched it's a little having all these kids rides near your home since you're a grown man? No, nigga! How much did all this cost anyway? More than your entire bank account. What? Oh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> you smell that? I can't smell anything. It kinda smells like ignorance. How can you smell ignorance? I don't know, but I will tell you that you smell like fucking sardines right now. I'm not a homosexual, stop grabbing my hand. Boy, I promise, ain't nobody trying to get with you in your micro penis, especially me. This bitch grinning like he really fixing to win. This motherfucker about to learn today. He's thinking y'all that, but he the one eating corn dogs in his mama's basement. Meanwhile, I'm Michael fucking Jackson. Get ready to bite this dust, bitch. Michael, look, I'm winning. Yeah, bitch, that's the only thing in life you winning at. Now, Michael, I have to ask, why do you have so many pictures of yourself in your home? Don't you think that's a little conceited? Well, you see, Martin, since I don't look like an orangutan titty like yourself, I like to put pictures of me looking fine as hell around my house and... <laughs> bitch, you still smell like sardines. Michael, why are you so embarrassed all the time? Boy, because you are an embarrassment. Michael, what do you call that move? I call it kicking you in the damn face. And there's me driving by myself going to Netherland, but I promise you I'm not lonely. Why do you like Neverland so much? I just don't understand you're a grown man. Why on earth do you think you're Peter Pan? Alright, bitch, what's your damn problem? Did Wendy turn you down or some shit? <laughs> Michael, it's been really nice talking to you for these past couple of days. <laughs> I wish I could say this. <laughs> 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 laugh. So your father would beat you with a belt. Yeah, and I wish I had that belt right now so I could beat the shit out of you. <laughs> Ask me one more dumbass question, I dare you. <laughs> Martin, this looks like the type of car you drive. Get it? Because it's a piece of shit. So you had your brothers, they would have sex in the same room as you. Uh, sometimes, but I remember that one time Jermaine brought this bitch in, oh my goodness. That girl, she took one look at his little pee-pee and she said, nope, I gotta go. It was really that small. <laughs> well, it wasn't as small as yours, but yeah. So this girl wanted to have sex with you and you just wanted, you wanna give that to her. Now, Martin, look, I know you for real lacking a sex life, but that oh don't mean God. you gotta get all this up in mine. You so see all the shit that I can buy and you can't because you can't afford it? All right, just let that sit It kind of makes me want to watch Can it somebody again. send Martin over there because he for real still smells like sardines? Watch. Michael, do you have a shopping addiction? No, but I can tell you gotta ask him too many damn questions addiction. Excuse me, ma'am, do you think it's possible to hang Martin on this damn wall so he can shut the hell up? So when you were a teenager, you were really self-conscious. Yeah, but now I'm wondering, you know, why do I have self-confidence problems? Because you ugly as fuck and you confident as hell. So, Michael, why why is your skin so light? Martin, why the hell are you still smelling like sardines? I have a lot of important questions, but you keep asking the irrelevant. And Michael, you just had countless plastic surgery. You've had your whole face redone. You need your whole face redone. And Daddy, why does man smell like sardines? You know, it's great having kids. You know what I mean? Oh, wait, you don't know what I mean, because you're alone and you have no kids. <laughs> You hold your own son blankets. All right, listen here, Mr. Sardine Boy. You make one more slick comment about my kids and I'll throw your little sardine ass into the fucking ocean. I mean, what do you think this is? The Lion King? I mean, if it makes you feel any better, I would never drop my kid over that balcony. But I would've dropped you. If I could even lift you up, because, you know, you need to lose some weight, boy. Yo, y'all, my fans, somebody save me from this idiot. You know, personally, I love reading tabloids. Of course you do, bitch. If you'll excuse me, I gotta put Blanket in his crib so he can get away from your damn sardine smelling ass. Everywhere I go with you, there's just paparazzi everywhere, people everywhere. Yeah, I know, that's probably new for you since everybody doesn't like you and you have no friends. See, Martin, this is how you get bitches, but uh, you wanna know because uh, you were virgin for life, so. And here's me walking by myself, by choice, of course. Um, I am not lonely, once again. <laughs> hey, Martin, I got a question for you. What? Is this fucking bullshit almost over? Because I'm about to fucking explode. So, about your plastic surgery. Uh, you think I'm gonna answer your fucking questions? <laughs> what? The fuck is what? About? My penis. The fact that my penis is bigger than yours. So, are you touching children inappropriately? No, I've never touched a child inappropriately, but I'm telling you, you about to get touched inappropriately, and by that, I mean you about to catch these hands. So, you sleep in the bed with children. Oh, uh, yeah, I would recommend doing it because I know you probably sleep alone, like, all the time because no one likes you. Well, I think that wraps up this documentary. All right, bitch, hold up. Let me get this straight. You've been living with me, Michael Jackson, for a whole damn year, and your ass still smells like sardines. Now that I think about it, when I think back on this interview, what was the point? Cause like, what, like honestly, like what was the point of this whole interview? Cause, um, yeah, he asked nothing. He asked nothing but humiliating questions. He made Michael Jackson seem like weird. You know what I'm saying? Cause of his interests and what he got at his house and the things that he liked or whatever. 
And I don't know, it just, it, it was a weird ass interview now that I think back on it, but I still kind of wa- want to watch it again. Cause I haven't watched it in like over, it's been a while since I watched this interview. And yeah, I forgot that he did ask a lot of like embarrassing, humiliating as questions. Like, was we supposed to learn something new? Like, was this supposed, like, what was the point? But yeah, that was my reaction to this video, guys. If you enjoyed my reaction, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next reaction video.